guys, it's Joe here from the Phantasmal team again, and we have update 8 ready for you. So I thought I'd take you through a bit of a preview. Uh, here's one of the first things that we've done, which is uh, we've added in a, in a bit of an intro comic. So you can actually see what's going on in the story. So the first time you play, if you haven't seen it before, the comic will show up and you can basically have a look at uh, what the background story is. So we do kind of talk about what the story is in our forum but we've never had it in game so now you can see kind of what the background of this is and why you're here there's some broken stuff on the ground and so forth so feel free when you take a look at the update to have a look through the comic and let us know what you think it's, it's going to be a bit of work in progress um, there'll be a lot more especially when you uh, finish the game there is an outro comic that explains what happened and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah definitely the the story needs to feature a bit more prominently than it did before which is to say it didn't at all so now you get a bit of an intro comic um, in terms of the other stuff there are a lot of changes of this build okay let me get rid of this this that also only shows up uh, the first time you come through the area so a lot of changes uh, one of the biggest changes that we've had is around the sanity, sanity mechanic um, one of the key things that, that we really wanted to see at the beginning uh, was we wanted to have it sort of a bit like a, 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 a game that's a favourite of ours called Amnesia. So in Amnesia has a really neat sanity mechanic. So when you're in, in the darkness and uh, you don't have a light on and you're kind of creeping around, the darkness is pretty creepy. So in, in Amnesia... Uh, Normally what happens is um, after a time you start losing sanity, you start going a bit crazy. So in our game, similar things, so you can see that, yeah, similar things starts to happen to, it doesn't happen right away, but if you linger around the darkness for too long, your character John Hope gets freaked out and you'll start to see some visual effects, you'll start losing sanity. So that is, un unless you have a source of light. So in this case, uh, turning on your flashlight will make it slightly less scary, although it is still very scary, but slightly less scary. When the light switched on and you can see from the elder sign on the top right of the screen there that uh, the red elder sign is is getting a little bit brighter so this this has already be, been done before but the um, elder sign when it goes from a dark red color which means you're pretty much sane and it starts glowing brighter the brighter it becomes the more uh, insane you become and, and a whole bunch of bad stuff starts happening you get a whole bunch of sanity insanity effects so uh, let me show you a little bit more to do with the sound beast system as well there's no weapon with that. oops I'm getting hit okay, who's hitting me okay, it's you oh we uh, fixed the strange skating along animations that we had last time with the with the junkies so uh, you a lot of you may have seen already that and previous versions I'll slide along the ground at you so that's now fixed still a couple of animation quirks but mostly they have been dealt with I mean it's an ongoing thing with the AI in general but uh, those weird animations uh, with escaping along the ground have been slowed out oh, and you may have noticed there too that the attacks from these guys will deal a little bit of uh, sanity damage as well so one, one thing that we have done is, uh, one thing that we looked at was it was probably a bit too easy to die previously. And um, so what, we, what we've done now is um, add a little bit of a component of um, sanity damage um, to all of these guys' attacks. So typically what will happen is there's a chance to get away from, from fights now, whereas before it was pretty, pretty difficult. You would... Uh, pretty much, um, if you're swarmed, uh, the chances of survival are pretty low. But now they're a little bit higher. They're not. It's not super duper high. But chances are, if you walk away from the fight, you can run away. You will s start to go slowly and slowly more crazy. And of course, uh, the crazier you are, um, the worse sort of effects happen. So you can see a little bit of glitching. Uh, graphically, um, sorry, not not an actual graphical glitch, but glitching on the guy's vision, and uh, you hear some you may you may be able to hear some strange sort of sounds and stuff in the background. So you start to hear weird noises. You get some the soundtrack starts getting creepier and creepier. So one thing you can do now is previously you could turn on the light, 
and it'll give you a bit of sanity, but now what happens is you flick on the light and you stand near, yeah, there you can see on the top right corner, the elder sign starts to glow, you start to see some particle effects there. And uh, that's maxed out now, but essentially you can heal your sanity. Um, if you, oops, here's somebody. You can heal your sanity if you're, if you're at a lower sanity level. Um, and you can do that all the time at these things. So these act as little waypoints now. They don't just give you a slight little bump in sanity. They actually allow you to regenerate. But they're, as you've probably seen, progressively there are less and less switchable lights now. So they're not, they're not, well, okay. <laughs> that's a bad example. There, there was three in a row. Normally, normally there's not that many. Oh, oh, do you like this? This is really cool. Something that BB, our, uh, our art lead, has done is he's put in some more wet patches on the floor and uh, with a new Unity 5 um, uh, physically based shading and all that kind of stuff. It gives you some nice reflections of all lights, of multiple light sources and things. I think that's it's really cool to me anyway. I like that. It gives it a bit more of a a somewhat realistic look to it. So that's really nice. So that's one of them. So that's one thing around sanity. Um, I'll try. It won't be difficult for me to go crazy because the next level there are a lot, lot more creatures and things like that in there. But uh, let me just go through, get through this room. Anything here? Nope. Good. Of course, you can pick up a note if you choose to. That usually gives you something to help you out a little bit. Step in the lift. Taking away the particle effects you may have seen. Yep, we had a couple of. Uh, uh, Users come back with feedback and say, why is there green stuff bubbles floating up? And we thought about it and thought, yeah, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> so we took it out. So yes, we do listen to you guys. Even if it's small stuff, it's important to us. So we do listen to all of your feedback and we do consider it. We might not do all of it, but we definitely consider it. If it makes sense and, it's, and we can do it, we'll do it. Okay, so we've talked about gameplay, balancing. Oh, this would be good. Um, so you may have seen the new one of the new creatures. Um, it's called the Creep. He follows you around. You can hear him giggling away in the background when he's, when he's getting close. Uh, he now has a uh, what's called a flea behavior. So before you could just uh, wail on him and he'd just let you beat him up, but now he'll actually run away if you hurt him. And that flea behavior is actually a, a fundamental part of the AI which we'll implement for the next build where there'll be uh, certain items or, or a particular item, the firecracker, which will... Oh, I got an ingot. So the ingot, ingot is there to... It basically gives you a bunch of cash. Uh, so it gives you ten, ten bucks. Whoops, here we go. I'll let myself go a little bit crazy with this guy. Uh, but the ingot, ingot will... Um, essentially give you a lot more money, whereas previously it was difficult, it was difficult to, oh, it, was, it was difficult to actually build up any amounts of cash, and so now we not only have that gold, which is already there, but we have a coin that gives you, a larger coin that gives you three bucks, so that should help build up some cash to be able to buy things at the store at the beginning of the game. So here's this guy, so if I hit him, you, you'll see the flea behavior, yep. So he'll run away. He has a bit of slow reactions, but he does bugger off, which is good. And that's going to be applied to all the creatures eventually. So while they won't just run away when you beat up, beat them up, you can throw the, a firecracker down on them and then it'll scare them away, which will be a new item that comes in the next build. So let's grab this pipe. Uh, where is this guy? He's right there. And please go away. Yep, and he's going to run away. And of course... Uh, as per last time, if you kill him, he will alert all their creatures in a fairly large radius. So generally he is pretty much harmless unless he gets in your way. And if you can avoid it, you probably you probably shouldn't kill him. You probably shouldn't. But he is he is pretty annoying. Okay, so let's go down. What else have we got next? So that that actually brings me to my next thing. So I've got some new items. So, uh, I've got some items already. Um, so, if you press the tab button, I think you can, I'm pretty sure you can remap this, but um, if you press the tab button, it'll cycle through your available items. So, of course, you've got your flare, which will light up the area and attract creatures. Um, now, oh, there's someone. You've also got incense, which will basically reduce ruckus. So, you remember if you run around and create too much noise, the uh, sleeper, an unkillable creature, will come to kill you. 
uh, if you throw an incense stick out, um, essentially that will calm the sleeper down, as well as healing a little bit of sanity, so a little bit of a sparkle there. So cool, I've gotten out of there. And then the final item is the pipe bomb, which is exactly the way it sounds. It's a it's a, an explosive device. It's just it's just a bomb. So you throw it, it'll attract um, some creatures, much like the flare, but it will also blow up. The, it has a pretty big radius at this stage, um, and uh, we're going to tweak a little bit more, but it's, it does a lot of damage, so just make sure you're not standing too close to it, otherwise you will kill yourself in one shot. So it's pretty pretty damaging. So it's, it's very powerful, uh, very useful, but it's also very damaging. So um, just be careful how you use that. Uh, let me just check one other thing. What else have we got? So I think that those are the kind of the key things. There are a few other little bits and pieces that we've also done as well. Um, but that that's kind of it. I think the sanity has, has taken a long time to kind of um, iron out. Uh, it's taken a lot of testing. Um, this week we've had a whole bunch of issues. Just just dumb stuff like yeah, simple, fairly simple innocuous things like trying to get the comic to work properly. Uh, that <laughs> we just had these little funny bugs. Um, so which have resulted in this build actually not coming out in November. This is actually the was actually a, a build intended for November, so we completely missed that. I've just realised now as well that oh yeah, okay, no, yeah, alone. Actually, I'll let him drive me a bit crazy. I'm just going to charge up. Remember, you can charge up your hits. I've actually I'm holding down the fire button right now. Yeah, so I'm going crazy. Oh no, 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 too crazy, oops, is he essentially um, holster his weapon to get out of here, so it's, it's pretty difficult to fight. And as a result, he's going to be able to live too long. Ah, get away! Ah, damn, okay. So I let myself get too crazy and I died. <laughs> so that's basically it. Um, that's, that's release 8, I believe it is. And, uh, yeah, once again, have a play with it. Um, we've incorporated it, quite a few changes from a lot of our uh, users, uh, player base, player base, place, player, player base. And so, if you have any more recommendations, keep them coming. There have been some really, really good ones. Um, many of there, many there, you probably you probably recognise if you've submitted changes before, if you've made some requests. Um, and just to give you an idea, coming towards December is going to be the end of December is going to be quite exciting because it's when we plan to be feature complete. And after that, we'll have a good two months remaining in the early access where we're just going to essentially have a, have a refinement phase, like an extended beta. So we're going to test the crap out of it. So if you guys, um, after December, um, have some time to have a bit of a play, or we're going to be purely bug fixing and trying not to actually put too many other features in at that stage. So if you have any other features, you'd like to see in the game, let us know now, as soon as possible. Uh, we're probably not going to get all of them in, but the best ones we'll definitely consider and try to implement. And after December, January, February, just bug fixing, so we're going to test the crap out of it, try and squash all bugs, and uh, look at releasing fully in March. And hopefully by that time, it'll be a pretty polished build. So yeah, please get involved, and thanks again for watching. Take care.